thirty dollars. That's brand new. That's like a that that's like a hundred fifty dollar rest right there. Good morning. Well, good morning. Good How are you? Morning. Good. You have the remote for this? There is not a remote, I don't think, Toshiba. We don't have one, and we don't know if there even was one, I guess. I'm sure it would have came with one originally. Originally, probably. Yeah. Would you do three for it? What are you asking? Five. How about four? Four, all right. Hey, hey, so you got to exact. Yeah, I got exact. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. CR. Grab one more and I'll be out of your way, ma'am. Sorry. Yeah, I paid him for uh, one of them, okay. and I owe you ten dollars for the other two. Okay, all right. Okay, no, no problem. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, thank you. See, they're five by seven. They're big. There's two of them. Is the archery stuff yours? Uh, Actually, my daughter knows most about it. Yeah. She inside? Yeah, just a second. I'll okay. Are you the archer? I am. I've got a few pieces here. It's seventy-two fifty. I wonder if you do sixty bucks even if I get they it. They are like so marked down already. Thirty dollars. That's brand new. That's like a that that's like a hundred fifty dollar rest right there. Okay, I'll take them. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's really, they, he marked them down so much already. Thank you. Uh -huh. You need some change? No, don't worry about the okay. change. It's only 50 cents. Okay. I got 73 here. All right. Oh, my goodness. Hard to get those things open, isn't it? I can never get them open. Here, maybe you'll have better luck. I'll trade you. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. I got the VCRs and I already paid oh, her for okay. those. Perfect. I thought I saw you earlier. <laughs> yeah, I was poking around all the VCRs all right. and stuff. Thank Have you. a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Morning. Morning. Do you have any sporting goods like baseball bats, gloves, anything like that? I don't. No. Kids are older, so I have bikes. I have a couple of bikes. Bicycles, okay. I haven't gotten them out of the attic yet, but. Would you do 10 on this? I'll do 15. I'll do it. 
There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. That's the speed number. Oh, well, yeah. 45, so. Right. It's not bad. Morning. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Vehicle. Thank you. I just got it a couple weeks ago, did actually. You really? Yeah. Did you? Did you? Is that like a 2020? Yeah. Like, yeah, 2020. Yeah. Wow. It already had like 30,000 miles just on it. I bought a Tacoma. Did you? Um, and I've I've had the Fords, I had the Chevys, uh, little trucks, and I said, heck with it. I'm getting. I've always wanted a Tacoma. I said I'm getting it. I yeah. got it. And it's like a freaking Cadillac compared to the Chevys and. They're great vehicles, and they'll run a lot longer, too. And you know what? It'll be the last truck I probably own. Yeah, they'll run forever. Yeah, that's what everybody... That's I see a bunch of them on the road from the early 90s, and I you know, they got a few you hundred thousand miles. Yeah, they definitely do. And you know what's so funny? Huh? All those... Um, I got this for 15 years. Yeah. Unless somebody buys them all, I might come down all the time. They're porcelain. Mm -hmm. You can't... They want a fortune from them places. <laughs> any, any of those with any size that are older, they're ridiculous. They're like two hundred, two hundred fifty dollars. You know, like the bigger ones. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, you've seen them on oh, pickers yeah. and stuff. Right. Those are the little ones, but and those are probably repops too. But you know what? Mm -hmm. About seven, five, eighty dollars for something like that. Yeah, they're they're neat. I I kept two. There was I had about twenty of them. Oh wow. Yeah. There's two of them I never seen. Right. I said I'm gonna keep them. Because there was a guy that's into that stuff and he never seen them either. Yeah. Um, just the way they were. Well, one of them was just I don't know. They're just neat. One's top hat. Right? Get it. <laughs> All right. Love ya. Yeah. Bye. Okay. You want this one? He has one of those. Yeah. So I want this too. I'll show you. This is just. Uh, Would you take one? That's uh, why I offered last year. No, no show. They don't have shows. Yeah. We might be taking them to different places. They don't have shows. Okay. Just here. Is there a place for your? You got a lot to look at here. Yes, we do. I didn't see a price on this camera. I didn't know what you wanted on that. You make an offer. How about 10 bucks? 10 bucks. All right. I'll hold on to it and just keep shopping around. Okay. I'll probably find Go something right else. In. You can leave it up here. All righty. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right. Didn't find anything else. I'll just pay for the camera. That's it. Very good. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. Have a good day. Mm, you too. All right, guys, I'm back at my shop. Today is Thursday, so there weren't that many sales to go to, but the ones I did go to, I found some pretty good stuff. I got it all pulled out. I'm going to show you what I found. First sale of the day, I bought three VCRs. I only saw, uh, what is it, this one? This Toshiba. Uh, I saw that one at first, and they were asking five. It wasn't They didn't have a remote, so I offered three, and we settled on four. Then after the fact, I found these other two. A Sanyo with the remote and a Hitachi without a remote for five each. So I just went ahead and paid the five bucks a piece on those. I always try to get these as cheap as I can because it's like 50-50 whether or not they work. Uh, since it's old tech, a lot of the parts and pieces inside just go bad. So, But when they do work, they sell for like $40, $50 a piece. Keep an eye out for VCRs, guys, especially the forehead ones. Also at that sale, they had a ton of archery equipment. I've actually been to the sale, and the lady with all the archery stuff like does it at her house which was different than the house they were at and she's been trying to sell this stuff for years like I've seen the archery stuff so many times and it like when I've seen it before it was a lot higher uh, this stuff was pretty reasonably priced uh, at least cheap enough to where I could buy it and make some money on it it was four different releases I think this is a release maybe not this might be something different actually no this is a hand rest the other so we got two hand rests and two releases 
and I think it came to like seventy two fifty. I for sixty. She didn't want to budge on price. Not a big deal. I can still make some money on them. The bows, the compound bows she had were really nice, but the prices were you know basically retail on those. I couldn't really get those and make any money on them. But these I should do pretty well with. Um, she had like the retail price on these like forty five dollars. Realistically, I can get you know thirty thirty five. This one like a hundred and thirty dollars. You know, realistically, I can get 70 or 80, but I'm happy with that. It was a really good find, and I'll definitely be able to make some money on that stuff. At the next sale, I got this Magnolite Roaster. Keep an eye out for these, because they do really well. They're not very special looking. It just looks like, you know, a dirty old pot, but they do pretty well. There's a brand right there, Magnolite. This one's got some scuffs and scratches, so I probably won't get top dollar for it, but I think 50 or 60 bucks is pretty realistic. At another sale, I got this Thomas Kincaid framed print. It's matted, framed, it's even got a little plaque there. And it was five bucks, which is an absolute steal. You couldn't get the frame for like less than 30 or $40. So to have a Kincaid frame, obviously it's not an original, it's just a print, but still, it's really cool. Thomas Kincaid is pretty collectible. It might take me a little while to sell it. It's a Christmas scene, and I don't like shipping artwork, especially big pieces like this. So I'm gonna try to flip this locally and I'm not gonna be asking much, probably, you know, 35, 40 bucks, something like that. Also at that sale, I got some Tommy Girl cologne spray, new in the plastic. Keep an eye out for colognes, guys, because they can do really well. This one I saw went for about 40 bucks. Even if they're not new, if it's a, you know, sought after cologne or perfume or whatever, you can still sell it. I've seen bottles that are like 75% full or 50% full and they still sell. Also got this jar of marbles for $2. I doubt these are very old, but I couldn't pass up a whole thing of marbles for $2. And this container came from a local department store called Lazarus. That's no longer in business. I thought that was kind of cool. My camera died at that sale, so a lot of the stuff that I found, it just didn't get caught on camera. Like I was walking back to my car and realized that the camera was dead. So I don't know where it cut off at, but I also got these signs. He had three porcelain signs, actually he had four. Um, they're repops, but they're still cool. And my buddy Kevin collects these, so I always try to keep an eye out for them. We got Standard Oil Company, Diamond Lubricating Motor Fuel, and Red Crown Gasoline. He was asking 15 a piece. I offered 10 a piece if I bought three of them, and then we settled on 40 bucks. So I was happy to get those. I stopped at this little uh, thrift shop thing at a uh, retirement community. They do it every Thursday, and I haven't been there for a while, but I thought I'd stop by. Found the Sony HD Handycam. Didn't have the charger, unfortunately, but it did have the battery. Paid 10 bucks for it. Didn't look it up, but I think similar models I've sold of this little Sony HD Handycam for about 60 or 70. You guys might have heard the guy at that one sale uh, compliment my car. I just got a new car a couple weeks ago. It's a Toyota 4Runner. I absolutely love it. I traded in my minivan. The biggest reason is because I do a lot of big buys and I'll be buying a ton of stuff and the van just didn't always have enough space. So I wanted something that could tow a trailer. So I went ahead and got a trailer too. I had to drive to Chicago to get the 4Runner because I needed one that had a third row seat to fit all the kiddos. And that's kind of hard to find in a 4Runner. Most of them only have two rows. So it was well worth the drive. I love it. And I think it's just gonna really serve my family well. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh.